안녕하세요. 여러분의 한국어 선생님 고빌입니다. Welcome back. We're now in the sixth episode of this seven-part series in which I analyze each of the BTS members' Korean speaking. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am a Korean teacher. I've been learning Korean now for almost 18 years, teaching it here on YouTube for over 10 years, and I can speak it fluently. And I'm going to share with you today my professional analysis of V's Korean, specifically how V sounds overall when he speaks, any dialect that he uses, or common expressions, and I'm just going to paint a picture of V's personality, at least what I can tell through analyzing his Korean. And while I'm not perfect at Korean, since I'm not a native speaker, I'll do the best that I can to be accurate. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please give this video a like and subscribe. Also, please consider joining my Patreon page and sending me some more ideas for other videos that I can make. Okay, so being the sixth episode, I've already analyzed RM, Jin, Suga, J-Hope, and Jimin. So now let's talk about V, known in Korean as Kim Taehyung. V was born in 1995 in the city of Daegu, so just like Suga, as you probably already know. However, he grew up in a place known as Gochanggun, which isn't far from Daegu, but it's actually kind of halfway between Daegu and the Jeolla province, where J-Hope is from. So you'll see in a bit, but his dialect might be ever so slightly unique from someone who, say, grew up their whole life in Busan or Daegu. In BTS, V is a vocalist, and he's also known for his unique bass vocal sound, and it's unique because how does that wonderful bass sound come out of such a tiny face? Just look how cute he is! V, Boraheo. Oh, and you made this expression, I purple you, in the first place too. <laughs> in fact, V was interested in becoming a singer since he was a child. So being in BTS is essentially his dream come true. So let's get into my analysis of V as a Korean speaker, starting with a clip. <laughs> This is probably an effect of V having such a nice bass singing voice, but his speaking voice is low. And not only is his voice low, but it sounds soft. Even in this clip, he has his mouth directly up to the microphone, even touching the microphone, but it's still soft. Also, listen to how he says the word EJ. He says it almost like Easy. 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 And that's another feature of V's Korean is because it sounds so soft, this letter Jiat sometimes ends up kind of sounding more like a, a Z. So here instead of EJ, you get EJ. And you'll hear it whenever he uses a word that has this letter. You can also hear that instead of 제가, he says it more like 제가. It's not that he's saying a Z, but it's a much softer sound. So just keep an eye out for that. And this is just what happens to that sound naturally anyway when you say it really soft. And these were just my first observations, but the very next thing that I noticed was the words he's using. And I have to say that most of the time, V sounds extremely polite. We're talking Jimin levels of politeness. And here's a clip. <laughs> Even when he's yelling at someone, V sounds perfectly polite. 너무 잘했어 가지고 제가 소리 지른 거 아니요. Meaning the reason I yelled is because you did such a good job when referring to how hard he packed the kimchi in. And this sentence is so much more polite than it needs to be. First of all, he ends the sentence with 아니에요, which is the correct ending to use normally when you're talking to someone who's older than you, so nothing unusual there. Using 아니야 instead would probably be okay as he's just joking, although he certainly doesn't have to. But the real reason that V sounds extra polite is this. All of the members in BTS, since they're like family, refer to themselves using the word 나, meaning I or me, instead of the more polite 저. But here, and in many other cases, V uses 제가, which comes from 저, instead of the more common 
nega, which comes from na, and all of the other members would just use na. And it sounds really polite that he does this. Now, he doesn't always do this, but I often found that he tends to speak a bit more politely than he needs to. And as a result, V's Korean often comes across as sounding warm and caring, no matter what he's saying. <laughs> Here, V is getting upset at Suga for singing and messing him up. And what he says is, Would you please be quiet? And chom just comes from the word chogum, so it means a little bit. And it's used kind of like just a filler word to make any sort of command or sentence sound softer and more polite. In addition, V uses the honorific expression hei chuseyo instead of just hei chuo when asking, which shows extra respect toward shuga. So V saying chom hei chuseyo not only makes this sentence sound more polite, but it doesn't even sound like he's upset. And here's one more example. I just showed this clip uh, to make a note that although V isn't the youngest, everyone else is allowed to speak to him using panmar or casual speech. And if you know this episode, you know, it's hilarious. But here everyone's laughing and yelling. And then comes V with Hyung Narang Boheo, which is what is it that we're doing together, Hyung? With one exception, and that's Jungkook, who's younger and would use more polite speech to him. So while V asks Jean using polite speech, Bo Heo, Jean replies just with casual speech, Moruji. So I don't know. Okay, so we've established that V can sound soft and polite, but then does he always sound like that? <laughs> 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 of course, no. When V is telling a joke or laughing or goofing around with the other members, his voice gets louder and becomes less soft, just as you would expect. Now, in this clip, he's trying to guess the meaning of the dialect word Gangangada, which means to be strong or firm, and he makes a funny guess at first that he thinks it's the the sound of hitting something hard. Gang gang, like hey, why is this so gang gang? Yeah, uh, nice nice try, V. So anyway, whenever you see V getting upset or talking loudly, well, except for when he's just playing around, listen closely to the words he's using, and you might notice how polite he actually sounds. But there's something more significant about the way that V speaks besides just sounding polite, and that's his sentences, specifically the length of his sentences. Take a look. <laughs> I found that V tends to speak in short sentences. Well, relatively short. Obviously, we're still talking about advanced level Korean as he's a native speaker, but relative to, say, RM, V seems to prefer shorter sentences, as well as sometimes making incomplete sentences. So it's not uncommon that when I'm translating something that he's saying, I might have to cut the sentences a bit short if he changes his mind and talks about something else. <laughs> This clip is another example of that, and he starts out by saying, 정말 많은 이벤트를 준비했는데. So we've really prepared a lot of events, which is a fairly short sentence. But instead of continuing that thought, his next sentence is this. 그래서 제가 걱정돼서 that's why, and because I was worried, Now, Weverse, that was the post that I'd written there. And then he goes on to talk about a post he wrote on Weverse. And when I just listened to V speaking Korean and not try to translate anything, but just listening as if he were speaking to me, Nothing about him talking sounds odd at all. In fact, this sort of speaking isn't that uncommon actually, and I'm sure we all change our thoughts mid-sentence too. But it happens more often with V, and it can sometimes make translating a bit more difficult compared to the other members. I don't feel like the subtitles of these videos usually reflect that either. And I also think that V already knows this himself too, and it seems to match with his personality. 오랜만에 쉬는 날이 생겨서 밖을 나가고자 함. 내가 할 행동은 에이, 언제 어디로 뭐 
무엇을 타고 왜 가는지 생각하고 외출 B 어디로 갈지 정하지 않았지만 일단 준비를 하고 나감 나는 A 자 여기서 다 A고 한명 B 나왔습니다 바로 낭만파 난 내비도 안 켜요 Here the members are talking about their personalities and RM asks what the members do first when they decide to go out somewhere on a free day. Do they set everything up, where they'll go, how they're getting there all in advance before even stepping out the door or do they just leave the house right away and figure out everything as it happens? Everyone else says the first one, myself included, except for V who RM then calls his answer very romantic and uh, V says this, 나는? I don't even turn on my GPS. And then, 그냥 한번 돌아다녀만 보자. So basically, let's just take a walk around for a bit. And I think this sort of romantic, this sort of laid back personality is part of the reason why he also chooses to speak in the way that he does. But it also has another side effect in V, and that's with some of his filler words. Now, a filler word is just any word that doesn't need to be there, but can give your sentence more emphasis or fill up space when you're not sure what to say. For example, words like ke or tall when you're thinking, so like saying um or uh in English, but it also includes words like yakan, meaning kinda. Another example of a filler word isn't so much a word, but making a hissing sound by breathing in air between your teeth. And this is done in Korean when you're thinking about something hard, kind of like saying hmm out loud. And a V uses this more often than others. <laughs> Shuga is another member who tends to make this sound often, as I mentioned in his episode, and it's not anything unusual. <laughs> but keep an eye out for when V uses it, because it's quite often. And everyone uses filler words here and there, but V definitely has a favorite. Now, I'm going to play a clip, and I want you to try to guess what that is. It's EJ. <laughs> EJ just means now or from this moment. And you'd use it kind of like you'd use the word 지금 to mean now. And if you're wondering the difference between these, 지금 means more like right now. So you can use EJ at the start of your sentences when you're talking about something happening now or something you're now going to do. But V uses this word EJ like it's nobody's business. And frankly, it is nobody's business. We should just let him speak how he wants. But not just his speaking, let's take a moment now to look at V's writing. And here's a letter that he wrote in response to a child's fan letter. He writes, Anyang, so hey, and then the kid's name, Bui Hyungya. So hey, it's me, your older friend or your older brother, V. I cannot overstate how much I love V's writing. Maybe it's because he used a Sharpie, but all of his letters look friendly and rounded. It's almost like a font. In fact, I checked and I do have a few handwritten fonts on my computer that look like this. Someone should really make an official V font though. Notice though he's using all casual speech here since when talking to a younger kid, that's much more common to do. And it might seem a bit awkward or at least a bit overly formal if you were to use chonen or the nida ending like hamnida or imnida to a kid. And I don't know, I'm just a fan of nice handwriting and I think V's is a good example of that. But okay, I know you're not here just to see V's handwriting. At least I don't think so. You're here for V's dialect, aren't you? <laughs> he can go into full dialect mode and he's doing that here together with Jimin. Both of them are great at this. <laughs> Here, V says, Nen chom paindae. First of all, ne is dialect for na, and you'll see this all the time. And next, 
Pai doesn't mean pie, but it means pyeolo, so bad or not good. And this is kind of a fun word that you'll hear used in Gyeongsang dialects. Again, I said that while V was born in Daegu, which is in the Gyeongsang province, he actually grew up in Gochanggun, which is halfway between Daegu, and it isn't far from the boundaries of the Jeolla province. Now, for the most part, Daegu and Busan dialect and all of the dialects in the Gyeongsang province are mostly the same. Uh, they use most of the same words and have many similar features, so it can be difficult to tell them apart. <laughs> For example, this word 부서지다, which means 부서지다, or to break, can be used all around the Gyeongsang province. <laughs> here he says in dialect, why are you being so silly, or why are you being so foolish? And here, the words ni for you, wa for why, and timi hada for silly or foolish are also used anywhere in that province. So the main difference between how V would speak dialect and how Jimin, who's from Busan, would speak will really just come down to slight differences in intonation. And just like the other members, well, except J-Hope perhaps, most of the time when V speaks, he's not using any dialect, but is just speaking in what's known as pyojuno, or standard Korean. <laughs> In fact, even when he speaks with his parents, you'll just hear him speaking in standard Korean. Something really interesting though is remember how I said that Gochanggun is between Daegu and the Jeolla province where J-Hope is from? Well, sometimes, sometimes, V will actually use dialect from the Jeolla province instead of the Gyeongsang province. <laughs> Here he uses the ending puro, which is a famous verb ending in the Jeolla dialect. Now, I don't know where he picked this up from exactly. It might have been Jeho, but I'd like to think that he heard it in his hometown of Gochanggun, which isn't that far from Jeolla province. So keep in mind that overall, when V does use his dialect, he's most often just using it to joke around. But there's something else that's interesting to me about V's dialect, or should I say V's language? It's no exaggeration to say that V has created his own entire language known as Tete language. And here, let me show you what I mean. <laughs> Please don't ask me to translate Tete language, but I'll do my best to explain it. So, Tete language, known as Tete O, is what fans lovingly call V's unique style of speaking. And this, I think, stems back to his tendency to make short and sometimes incomplete sentences. So, what ends up happening is sometimes those short sentences, well, they always make sense, but they can lead to some humorous expressions. <laughs> <laughs> what V says is Kongang Mennar Hago. And then uh, yeah, RM immediately takes over answering the question. Typically the older members, so his Hyungs, will take over and help uh, translate when this sort of thing happens, which is really cute. Uh, the full clip of this is really funny though, and they all can't stop smiling when it happens. Now, Kongang hada means to be healthy, but since it's essentially an adjective, you can't separate the kongang part, meaning health, from the hada part, meaning to do. So V essentially is saying, do the healthy every day. Um, now, what he should have said is probably like, hangsang kongang hago, so we're always healthy. Now, obviously, he also knows that wasn't a correct sentence, uh, but thank you, V, for giving us this gem. It's wonderful. And thanks to you, I also make sure to do at least some kongang every day, too. Now, I'm not going to go too in depth into Tete language, at least not in this video, uh, but here are just a few more examples. <laughs> <laughs> Here V says 잘해고, which is supposed to be probably 잘하고, um, so he just mispronounced it. And he immediately realizes what he's done, puts down the mic, and yeah, uh, Jimin and J-Hope can't hold it in. Uh, but I have some more examples. <laughs> <laughs> he 
here, V confuses the verbs 장가 가다 and 시집 가다. Both of these mean to get married, but 장가 가다 is used when a male gets married and 시집 가다 is used when a female gets married. To be fair though, I used to get these confused all the time. 인정이 뭐라고 그러냐? 인정? 네? 아, and here, V mixes up the words 인증, meaning certification, and 증인, meaning a witness. <laughs> and here, V, while trying to say the word for toothpaste, instead uses the word 양치, meaning brushing your teeth. So instead of 치약맛, for toothpaste flavor, he says 양치맛, or brushing your teeth flavor. It's kind of the same flavor though, right? Sometimes though, Tete language isn't saying something differently or mixing up words, but it's just repeating words several times. I have just one example of that here. <laughs> At other times, Tete language can be perfectly constructed sentences with an interesting nuance. And these types of Tete language are my personal favorite. <laughs> The question was, what do you hope to someday do together uh, in the future with the members? And V's answer in perfect Korean is, 전 멤버들 자식 보고 싶어요. I want to see the member's children. Again, there's nothing wrong with the sentence except for his choice of words. 자식 just means child here, but what makes this Tete language is that he didn't provide any context to what he said. And the other members are understandably surprised and laughing because it sounds like they have kids uh, when what V meant to say was in the future, referring to the original question in the future. Fortunately, Jin is able to translate here and explains that V meant to say 20 years in the future and not right now. And while I think V's Korean overall, um, with its shorter sentences, makes it great for Korean learners as study material, Tete language can actually make his Korean, well, some of the most difficult. But don't worry, because most of the time V doesn't use any of this Tete language at all, and I think that he's still a great resource if you're looking to practice your listening. And I could absolutely make an entire sequel to this video all about Tete language, but that's enough Tete for this time. So if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more. Also, if you'd like to support me in making more videos like these, please also consider joining my Patreon page or becoming a member on my channel. In fact, it was a supporter who originally asked me to make this whole video series about the BTS members. And I'll put links in the description for how you can support me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Kram, Tame Toba. Thank you.